If you're connecting to a data warehouse or other model that has its own date dimension tables, it's important to mark those tables as being date tables when you bring them into Power BI. What happens um, by default when you just bring a flat table of data in, if it's got date columns in it, Power BI creates some hidden uh, tables and columns for the year, the quarter, the month, the day, and the hierarchy of those, so it's easier to work with um, straight out of the box. But if you're bringing in your own date table, the chances are you've got your own fields and hierarchies in there, maybe even like fiscal calendars, uh, and it's better to use those than the built-in ones. So um, I've br brought in one of these date tables here. You can see the internal hierarchy and columns that's been created for me. But what I want to do is mark um, this table as being a date table. I'm going to specify um, which column it is in that table um, that is the unique uh, date column. Uh, and you can click this Learn More link to see exactly how we're validating that they're unique and uh, what type of data it is, et cetera. And there's a warning here that telling me that when I mark this as a date table, um, any visuals or DAX expressions that refer to those built-in fields might break. Uh, it's going to happen on this line chart down here. Um, you'll see the, the date field gets replaced, but my, uh, my measure in this chart, uh, which is a DAX expression, is going to break. Now, this was actually a quick measure. Um, I used the quick measures feature to, to, to build this automatically. Um, and what the quick measures feature did was it was checking um, to see that we were using the built-in table. So I'm going to remove that if check. And I'm also going to remove this um, reference to the built-in date field. So my, my formula actually gets much simpler here. All I'm doing is total year, uh, year to date of that um, sum of revenue uh, over the date field from my date table. That's fixed up the formula, and now my visual is going to start working again. So now I might want to go and um, build up some, some hierarchies based on this. So I might you know, build my date and quarter and year hierarchy. Uh, let's make sure I add these the right way around, reorder these. Um, and here's my new, this is my new date hierarchy. So um, I can start uh, adding more of these things back into my table uh, and re-enriching it if I need to. Um, but a lot of those fields and hierarchies might well have been brought through from my model originally anyway. So uh, that's how you can go and mark tables as being date tables uh, and uh, make use of those within Power BI Desktop.